What's up guys, my name is Andy. In this video, I'm going to be moving my battery from the engine bay of my car to the trunk of my car, and I'm also going to be upgrading to a new red top from Optima. And before you guys get all bent out of shape about why I'm moving the battery to the back and if it's going to do anything for the handling of the car and that kind of stuff, I'm not even going there. Uh, the, the benefits and the, the drawbacks from everything, I'm, I'm not even going to cover that stuff. I'm actually doing it because I need to make some space here in my engine bay. And right now with the battery sitting, it's in the way. So I need to get this to the back of the car to get it out of the way. But while I'm going through all this, I'm upgrading to a little bit better battery. And where I'm going to put it is here in the back of the trunk. If we just move this carpet out of the way, I'm going to put it on this shelf here. And the, the bracket that I've got is going to bolt down to this system right here. And we'll actually, we'll put the carpet back and bolt it on top of that. But uh, we'll go through that in a minute. Let's head over to the bench real quick and look at all the parts we're going to use to install this in the back. So we need a way to mount this battery down. And what I'm going to use is just this aluminum, this generic aluminum piece that I got. I got it off of eBay actually. And all it is, is just a plate that we're going to mount to the car. And then we've got these distorted rods here that just goes in something like this. And then we'll do two over here. And then this system will just go on top like that. And the way this is designed, it's meant to clear the, uh, the terminals here on this particular battery, which actually works out pretty good. And I'm going to use a 200 amp breaker that actually I'm thinking about mounting it right here on top and then we'll come off of the battery to this terminal and then from here go to the front of the car and then we'll have the negative terminal. So this might be the might not be the best place but it sure is a convenient place to put this breaker. We're going to need some terminals for the battery, a handful of these things that will crimp on the ends of the wire. We'll use these for mounting the wire underneath the car as we run it from the back to the front. Some grommets to get through the sheet metal, wire insulation, some loom just so that we can cover the, the sheathing of the wire. It's probably going to be fine, but this just cleans it up, makes it a little bit nicer. Some zip ties and then some wire itself. So I'm, what I'm using here is this is just one gauge wire. This is plenty thick enough for what we're doing. Uh, this is something that there's lots of different sizes out there and the best I can tell is, you know, of course the bigger the better. You're not going to hurt anything by going with bigger wire but it, do, it does come at a cost. So whether you went with aught gauge or double aught gauge, or even if you went from one gauge down to two gauge, you might find what works best for you and your car, but I think this would be fine for my application. So let's get to work. We can go ahead and start taking this apart and getting this old battery out of here. So if we just kind of put this in here, roughly where we're going to want to put it. Now I've got this, this is the old mount for the tire jack. I don't want to cut this out and I don't want to cut it up. Uh, I, I'm probably never going to need it, but I don't want to cut it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to fit this in here so that I can still use, you know, these mounting holes through the sheet metal here. Cause I'm going to put a bolt through and just come up from the bottom with a nut and stuff like that. And so I think we can get this to fit right around in that spot there. There, and I've got my marks so I need to drill some holes. While I'm going to drill these holes, I went ahead and Loctited the, that all thread in the mount so that when I put it back in here, that all thread won't move. So let's go ahead and get these holes drilled. All right, let's do a little quick test fit. Make sure all the holes line up. I think we're good. Yeah, that'll all work. Cool. So now what I want to do is I'm just going to fold this over and I need to mark where the bolts go through here. And I've seen a lot of you guys say use a soldering iron. I even saw a guy say uh, heat up a hole punch and push it through there and that'll melt it. And I thought that was a pretty good idea. But I think for this I'm just going to just go ahead and just cut a hole. But I will use a hole punch to mark the hole so I know where we're at. So that's good. That's 
good. I'm just going to use some fasteners here just to put this down in there. Bolt it through the carpet and through the floor. And here you can see the bolts that are coming through the sheet metal that we just drilled. So we'll go ahead and put a washer and a nut on that. And then we'll tighten it up. In case you guys are wondering how am I holding the, the top of the bolt up top, I've got a wrench on it so that it's not moving and we can just tighten it from down here. And while we're down here, I'm going to go ahead and drill that hole that we're going to run the power wire through the bottom of the sheet metal and then we'll route it underneath the car to the front. I can feel the hole where the wire is going to come through, so it'll just come up right through here. It'll be perfect. So let's go ahead and get that top piece ready and, and go ahead and secure that breaker on there. So what I want to do is just mount this thing uh, on here. We got a screw here and a screw here, and we can utilize that. So I'm just going to put it somewhere where I think it looks, you know, symmetrical and everything looks nice. Probably. Right there, that ought to work. Uh, there we go. Okay, so that's where we're going to drill holes. And then we'll tap that and get that set up for the fasteners to hold this in place. And there, just like that, we've got that drilled and tapped. Put that on here. We get some fasteners to secure it in place. There. Now that's good to go, and that should fit perfectly right in here. Yeah, that'll still work. And then we're going to come off of here and make a loop over to this part, and then we'll come off the back and go off the back through that hole we just drilled with the grommet. And then we're going to come off of here, and I think we're going to hook this inside the trunk, and I'll show you where we'll hook the ground to on that one. So I think this is ready to go. Now let's go get this fed up into the car. And we'll just feed this in. Slowly, I don't want to pop that grommet in, although we can put it in back if, back if we need to, but we're just going to feed this up. And I'm going to overfeed it just so I have enough to work with up top, and then I can run it back out this way when we're, when we're done up top. So there, I think we have enough, you know, to run up through here, and it'll connect to that breaker. And remember, we just need that loop that goes from the battery terminal to the breaker. And I think we have more than enough here, so I can fish this back when I'm done. So I think let's go ahead and put the battery in here and start to see where things are going to fit. I think that's pretty good there, you know, and as this trunk comes down, nothing's going to, it's going to touch there. That's good. That's important. What we need to do is we need to make a loop and when we put this guy on here, we're going to come off of here, maybe do something like that, something nice and close to this thing. I don't want to be touching other stuff.
Still not sure about how much I like this. You know, when you close the trunk, it, nothing's touching. It looks like it's close, but there's quite a bit of different difference or distance between this and that. But I might make this a little bit longer piece and just turn this around so all this stuff is back here. But anyways, uh, so for now, I need to make the piece that's going to connect to the back side of this breaker. So let's get that made real quick. I'll come back and tighten up all this stuff when we get done here with, you know, these nuts and everything. Just get everything in place for right now. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to feed some of this wire back down through that grommet because I don't need a ton of it sticking up out here. So that's good. So I'm going to come back and I'll do the ground terminal at the end here, but we're going to connect it from here. And there's a, a bolt down here that actually holds the bumper on and it's a pretty good frame bolt down here. So I'm going to ground it to that nice and short distance, but we'll do that at the end. We'll cut that off the other end of the wire when we go ahead and fish it all the way up to the front. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jack the car up and start routing the wire underneath the car and following the frame all the way to the front. All right. So we've got the car up on jack stands now. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to kind of route this underneath the car and just kind of stick it up front and, and see where it comes out up there. And just kind of get a, a feel for where it's going to roll and then uh, and then we'll start figuring out where we're going to do the attachment points to hold it to the car along the way. All right, I was able to get a path. I mean, I got to secure everything down. We're going to go up behind here, up over the axle arch, and then we'll come down along my subframe brace and cross over and then go on the outside of the frame. And then we can come back along the frame here and then we'll go up along the suspension, well, along the frame by the suspension in there and then we'll tuck underneath the front where we'll come up in the engine bay here and then we can just route it right to the starter solenoid. Now I, uh, I've got quite a bit of extra here and I know I can use some of this for that ground wire. What I've, you know, this 25 foot piece is plenty for what we're doing, but it's, it's nice to have a little extra just in case. So let's go ahead and start uh, securing everything and don't forget to put the loom on top of this as you go along and then just secure it to the car. I'll work your way all the way to the front. All right, guys, I went ahead and just say, spared you the the boring part of watching me drill all these holes and mount all this up. So we're coming out of the bottom of the quarter panel here and then we're just running over to the frame and then actually it's kind of hard to tell but we're mounted up there on the top of the frame and then we come down along the frame rail and we scoot up next to the subframe brace. And as we come along the subframe brace we got another clamp up there, another one here, and then I kind of come from the other side because there's a, there's a gap underneath here so I can come up here to the outside Partly because of that frame piece there. I didn't want to go below that. I wanted to go, you know, through it, but I didn't want to drill a hole. So I decided to just come through here, through this part here, and then just run along the outside and then come up over there by the, uh, on the other side of the suspension. And then we come along the inside of the, or the, I guess it's the outside of the frame rail. Then we come underneath, underneath here by the uh, strut rod and then go up inside the engine bay from here. And then once we're inside here, all we need to do is just figure out just the length just to finish this along here and then we'll just run it right up to the starter solenoid. Uh, I might put another clamp down here just to kind of tuck it along the wall here and just keep it nice and clean. Uh, I'll figure that out here but I think we're done with uh, with lifting the car so I can take take those jack stands out and then finish up inside the engine bay.
Hey guys, so the last step that I need to do is make a ground wire to come from here. And actually what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna use uh, this bolt down here. Uh, it actually holds the bumper on, but it's a good solid metal contact. And you know, you, you may find that you could just drill and tap a hole right here and just thread it into something like that, but I've already got a, a bolt here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that and nice short piece from the, from the car to the battery. I also went ahead and tightened up all the fasteners on here, tightened up these connections here, and I took that cover off of the front, off that I had on the battery up front and put it on here. Just, then none of this stuff, you know, touches. You know, if you kind of look around here, there's, there's a lot more room than it looks like there is. You know, when you move this, this down, it's, nothing's touching, but, you know, just in case, right? So, and I'm not super wild about these parts right here. Um, they're, you know, they're not touching anything. Um, but they are exposed, so if I guess if you know if you maybe were to touch something there to there, that might be an issue. And I, I'm not I'm not 100% on the location of this breaker, and I was wondering if maybe I should move it back over here and just have a make something for it to just mount right here off to the side, and then come off of here, right? I, I I don't know yet. I have to figure something out. But I do like that I have this breaker in place, so there is that. So let's go ahead and get this cable made real quick, and then uh, I think we'll be done. All right, guys, everything is secure. Everything's in place. Everything's nice, it's nice and tight. I think from now, uh, let's go ahead and close this breaker and cross our fingers that nothing pops or cracks or blows up on us. So, uh, there. Okay, let's uh, go see if the power works. One of the easy ways to do it is open the door and see if the light comes on. Haha, <laughs> that's good. All right, we've got power. All right, the last thing to check is to see if the, the starter works. It should. I mean, everything else is working, but let's go ahead and turn the motor over. All right guys, so that's it. That's moving the battery from the engine bay to the trunk and wiring it up so everything works. I did notice as I was going through that um, I, I need to clean up this rat's nest that I've got going on here by my starter solenoid. I've got some ideas of what I want to do with that, but I'll get that get to that in a later time. Still got to take that tray out that the battery was on. Uh, it's not hurting anything right now. I, I don't need the space right this second, but I will need it soon. And so uh, that'll have to come out. But other than that, everything's ran nice and tight and good. And um, again, like I mentioned earlier, I'm not sure about that circuit breaker location. I might want to try to move that to a different spot. Again, closing that trunk, there's plenty of clearance running everything. There's no problems. I'm not popping any fuses or anything like that, or the circuit breaker's not going, so we're good. And then that, and then that battery is secured, which is also important. So, all right, guys, that's it. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, I appreciate it because it helps my channel out. And we'll see you in the next one.